Hello, my friends. I'm Clover, and this is Genuinely Approachable Sudoku. And today we are solving a puzzle called Mr. Unpointy by Philip Newman. So this is a double arrow Sudoku. And that's a variant that we have all been playing with a fair bit recently. It's uh, something I was kind of vaguely aware of. I think I'd seen similar things in the past, maybe in contests, but it seems to have gotten much more popular recently, and I've been uh, taking advantage of that in gas, and Philip clearly has too. So what's going on here? Uh, we are placing the digits 1 through 9, once each in each row, each column, and each 3 by 3 outlined region, like standard Sudoku rules. And on top of that, we have these pairs of circles that are joined by these kind of maroon lines. And the rule for double arrow says that the digits in the two circles have the same sum as the sum of all of the digits along the line that connects them. So for example, these two digits in orange have the same sum as these two digits in this kind of peach color. This is a blind solve. I have not tested this puzzle. Uh, I try to call it out when that happens, um, just so that you guys don't get the wrong impression when I am solving something that I have in fact solved before. And this is a blind solve. Uh, so let's go ahead and have a look. So the first thing that catches my eye here is this one six pair, which sums to quite a low number. It sums to only seven. And there are only two other ways to make a sum of seven, either two and five or three and four. This can't be 3 and 4 like that, because there's a 3 in this region, but the other ones are still possible. This guy also jumps out at me because that's also a low total. 3 plus 5 is 8, and there are only two other ways to make 8 other than 3 plus 5. We could do 1 plus 7. That's impossible in this column because of the 1 and 7 here. Or we could do 2 plus 6, which is what we're going to have. And then this is going to be 4 plus 8. That checks out because the two digits at either end sum to 12. 5 plus 7 is 12. 4 plus 8 is 12. Over here, 13 is a pretty large total. 4 and 9. So that has to be either 5 and 8 or 6 and 7. That can't be a 7, so that can't be a 6. Down here, I have a 1 in one of these guys. Okay. So let's think this through. I'm pretty sure that 9 has to be on one of the ends. Yeah, because if 9 was along one of these lines, then the smallest value I could have for the sum on the line, like say this was a 9, the smallest value I could have for the sum would be 9 plus 2, which would be 11. But there's no way I can make an 11 with a 1 in it using just two numbers. So the 9 can't be on the line, and also the 9 can't be in this circle by Sudoku. So that has to be my 9, and that means these two digits sum to the same as 1 plus 9, or 10. Now how do we make 10? We need either 1 and 9, 2 and 8, which is not going to work, 4 and 6, which is not going to work, or 3 and 7, our last remaining possibility, and because we have a 7 here, we know how that's going to play out. So now over here, we need 2, 4, and 5, and the way this is going to pan out is we have 2 and 4 in this column, that makes this a 5, and 1 plus 5 equals 2 plus 4, and that 5 is going to do something else for us too. It's going to tell us that this sum of 13 can't be 5 plus 8, it has to be 6 plus 7. We actually have something symmetrical happening up here, so because there's a 9 in this circle, for the same reason as we discussed down here, 1 can't be on one of the lines, because if it was, the biggest we could make the total on the line would be like 1 plus 8 is 9, but then when we have this 9 in the middle, we have to sum it with something else. So it's definitely going to end up bigger than 9. So they couldn't be equal. So we need a 1 and a bulb because 1 can't go on the lines. 1 goes right there, so I'm going to put 1 right there. These two have to sum to 10, and the only way to sum to 10 using only the digits we have remaining is 3 plus 7. Here we're going to need 5, 6, and 8. This is a naked 5, and this is going to be 6 and 8. And I noticed from the symmetrical deduction up here that I missed something down here. This 2 makes this digit a 4, and this one a 2. All right, now these two digits are going to be 3 and 8, and that checks out. 2 plus 9 is 11. 3 plus 8 is also 11. Here, because of the 5, I can eliminate the 2, 5 option and use the 3, 4 option. And that tells me that these are 2 and 7. That also checks out because 1 plus 8 is 9, and 2 plus 7 is 9. The 7 here resolves that and resolves this. The 3 here resolves this and resolves that. So we're starting to fill in kind of this framework here. What else have we got? 1 plus 5 is 6. The only other way to make it 6 is 2 plus 4. So these last two digits of the row are going to be 6 and 8. 
3 plus 4 is 7, so I need to go 1 and 6, or 2 and 5. That can't be a 1 or a 2, because those are right there. So that can't be a 5 or a 6, or a 2, because there's a 2 in the column. So that's a 1 there and a 6 there. These guys will be 5, 8, and 9. Those can't be 8. The first one sees an 8 in its column, the second one sees an 8 in its row, so that is going to be an 8. If this pair was 7 plus 9, we'd have a problem, because that would be 16, and we need two 8s right here. So this must be 7 plus 5, so make 12, which makes, <laughs> which makes this a 4. Now these three digits are going to be 1, 2, and 5. That must be a 1, because of the 2 and 5 in the column. And here I'm going to need a 3 and a 9, and the only way to work that out is if this is a 3 and then 1 plus 9 sum to 10. This has to be 1 and 7 right there, and because 2 plus 7 is 9, I need a sum of 9 there, so that will have to be 1 plus 8. Now the three remaining digits here, we're kind of taking a clockwise path around this puzzle right now, are 4, 5, and 9. This is the only position where we can have a 9, because the 9 right there, and there goes my 4 and my 5. Now, these last two digits are going to be 1 and 2. This 2 differentiates those. And here, I still need a 1. The only position for 1 in the column is right there. These are going to be 6, 7, and 9. The only position for 7 in the column is here. And here's a 9. And here's a 6. And now, to finish this region, I need 5 and 8. That'll be 5 and 2. 1 and 3 to finish this row, 7 and 9 to finish this row, and you see Philippine classic Philip, <laughs> the middle region, spells 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 in order. I, I always find it charming when I'm able to catch a little Easter egg in a puzzle like that. So that's now 2 and 9, that's going to be a 3. This will be 4 and 5, that will be 5 and 6, and that is how you finish Philip Newman's Mr. Unpointy. I enjoyed that one, hope you guys did too. The link to solve it yourself is in the description below this video. Check that out, and I will see you again three days from now.